Welcome, I'm Elvis Mitchell, curator for Film Independent at LACMA, and welcome to Camera d'Afrique, the films of West Africa, in partnership with LMU Film School and Film Independent at LACMA. What's so great about this series is that so often we think about Africa as a whole, as a piece, as a continent. Sadly, even it's a subcontinent and not a place full of countries, full of different traditions and different kinds of filmmaking. Each region offers something different from Mali to Mauritania, from Senegal to the Ivory Coast, wrestle with the ideas of cultural imperialism and also the kind of uneasy schism that exists between tribal life and the modern world. And we can certainly start with the films of the most influential and well-known and inspirational filmmaker, and that would be Usman Semben. He goes back to the 60s as a filmmaker, but take a look at his book, Le Dakar Noir, his autobiography. You can see the influence that that book has had on many of these filmmakers. You can take a look at a film such as Tile, which deals with sort of like schisms between the past and the present or the films of the filmmaker Usman William Mbaye, who takes a look at politics through a really personal prism. His film, President Dia, examines the fall of Mamadou Dia, who was one of the prime ministers of Senegal. We can examine the films from another family, the films of the Diops, starting with Gilles Diop Mambeti, whose films go back quite a way, to his daughter, who's a filmmaker working nowadays, uh, Mati Diop who does fascinating documentaries on the culture of modern-day Africa. Our opening night is, in fact, a Mahat Maroum double feature of Bye Bye Africa, his first film from 1999, which is a fascinating look at who and what he is. It's a, maybe the first meta film ever to come out of Africa, looking at himself as a basically a mover of the culture, a tastemaker, and somebody who's defining himself as a filmmaker and as a citizen of Mali and what that means. Uh, the second film for that evening, after a reception here with music and you, uh, will be his newest film, Grigri, which played just this year in competition at the Cannes Film Festival, where it won the Vulcan Award for technical achievement. It's remarkable because it's so much shot at night using digital, so he has to keep a really interesting eye on the way blues and reds kind of suffuse into the nighttime light. But also, it's a look at the way music defines so many of us in ways we don't expect. The excitement for me, and I think for many of you people in the audience, is that you'll get a chance to see films from this region that have rarely have ever been shown in the United States. There are so many important storytelling traditions that are a part of each of these countries, and each is exposed in such fascinating and specific ways that I think you'll be changed forever by seeing these films. The series begins here at LACMA on October 3rd and runs through October 28th. We will have films here at LACMA on Thursdays and Tuesdays. Films will be at LMU on Monday nights through the end of the month. There will be a discussion with the panel and many of the filmmakers in attendance will be here to discuss their films, their work, the impact they're trying to make as filmmakers and as citizens of Africa. So please come join us. L'amour est là, qui nous ouvre les bras Pourquoi partir sans pouvoir nous guérir Vers l'immensité qui nous éblouit Jour et nuit